word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I am Devin and I'm here with Emma. Hi. I'm here with Alex. What's up? And I'm here with Optical Illusion CJ. Hello. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Max is not here this week. No. Our uh, thoughts are with him and his GF and her fam. Yes. Because. Peace out, A-Town. <laughs> <Huh? laughs> um, okay. I was working on an assignment this week. Mm. And it was about a book, really good book for kids. Yeah. Um, probably upper primary level yeah. called A Long Walk to Water fascinating based on a true story of this um south sudanese man but boy at the time um and he <laughs> became one of the lost the lost boys of south sudan yeah so anyway. he, was, hold on, hold he was a boy before w- was it was it man. that w- 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 was it that long of a walk he became a man during the walk so i actually got my nine-year-old to read this and it was it's got some pretty Oh, that's Deep what he, was, he said he was. Uh, he said he read a, a hundred eighty page book. In he like, loved it. He didn't put it down. Yeah, like he, in a couple he of hours, front to, front to back. Yeah. in about an hour yeah. and a half. So but actually, I'm going to tell you about the story. That's just quicker really than me. Quickly, quick maths. That's quicker than me. I'm going to tell you about the story. I yeah. wasn't planning to, but it's really. Anyway, it's a it's a short novel. Um, she's done it in a dual narrative, so she's got one character, which is the main character, Salva Dutt. You can actually find him on TED Talks. So it's, it, it, he tells a story. Yeah. But um, his story? yeah, it was set back in 1985 and he basically has to flee his village due to war. Um, so there's rebel groups fighting with the government. How old is he? At the time he was 11. Yeah. He didn't have any family. He was in school at the time and then they, were, he heard, they heard gunshots mm. and, he, and the teacher's like, get out of here. Don't go back to your village. They'll be going to the village. Run into the bush. Runs into the bush. Um, and uh, long story short, he basically walks to Ethiopia. Mm. Um, with a group of people, never finds his family at the time. Far out. Then when he becomes a teenager, he leads 1,500 boys back across thousands of miles of desert and eventually makes it to Kenya, to a refugee camp, and um, when, and then he gets relocated to America. And then since he's been in America, he's set up his own foundation, which is called Water for South Sudan, Water for South Sudan mm. where he creates wells for mm. villagers. The other story is about a girl who's living in 2008 and she has to work, walk two hours a day just to go to the local pond to get um, water. But she does that trip twice a day. Right. So it follows her story. And in the end, he ends up building a well in her village. Oh, nice. But they're from... Where, where they're are they from? Where's the girl South from? South Sudan as well. Oh, okay. But set in 2008 versus he, when he was a boy in 1985. And nothing's changed. War, the, the war has changed a bit. But the thing was, he was from the Dinka tribe. She was from the Nua tribe. And they used to... They used to there was for hundreds of years there would be like um little civil right, right. wars yeah and she couldn't believe oh my god the other tribe is actually helping us with water and it was a really good yeah, short yeah, novel yeah, yeah but as part of the assignment i was like oh i want to i would tell my students because it's for teaching where was his village right anyway so i got on google maps i was looking at his village and all this and that and then i was just looking at africa in general i want you to put in google maps africa right <laughs> So let's just bring up Africa as a whole. Africa's restaurant? No, just Africa. Yeah, Africa yeah. Restaurant. Maps. Yeah. <laughs> so let's zoom in on Africa. Mm. And I was looking at where do I want to have a little nosy at? Mm. And I thought, Chad. All right. So zoom in on Chad. Right. Uh, no, you know what Chad is? He's an American mm. guy. It's like muscle guy. <laughs> <laughs> but go on satellite. Isn't he your cousin? Yeah. I want you to go <laughs> on satellite image. Okay. All you can satellite? really see How do you get is a satellite? so at the bottom of Google Maps, bottom left. On the left hand side is a little bundle satellite. Oh. satellite. <laughs> yeah. The the ham sandwich there. It's on the left hand yeah. bottom corner. So you can see like You see it now? All the northern portion of Africa is looks like rock basically or uh, desert. It's desert. It's desert. It's desert. It's desert. Yeah. There's no green land yeah. compared to the middle. Anyway. So I was like, I wanna have no, a look at the Europe, look. isn't it? Oh not Greenland. I was like, I want to have a closer look, right? I zoomed in on a town called Bar Bar Dai, maybe B A R D A I. B A R B A R D A I. D A I. I've never got Chad. in this place. In Chad, right? So zoom in on there on um Wait, where satellite. It? Where is it? 
Oh, Be- where that hole is at the top. Let top me there. see. How do you, uh, what do you do? Isn't, do it, you? isn't it Wakanda? So it's, if it's you actually search for Bardai corner. in Chad. Bardai, Chad, Africa. Oh. It doesn't come up. Top, Wait top left second. corner of Chad. I'm, I top keep left saying it if you want. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there it is. It's I'm Bardai. Still, I'm still trying to find... <laughs> There it is, yeah. Okay, Anyways. I found Chad. Zoom in a little bit. <laughs> You've yeah, just I'm all the way in. Ch- Are you all the way in so you can see the hut homes? The, I, you can see the houses and I stuff like that? I can see the mosque. Okay. I, found, I want I found you. Bardai. There is a little, <laughs> what do you call like the little teardrop pink? And it's got a... Um, Son Cas Inn. Right. Now go up from there and there's a restaurant. <laughs> This Sorry. town in the very top northern it's corner of Bardai has, click on it and see what it says. Click on that restaurant. It's like a Japanese. A Japanese restaurant. What? what is that what you're leading um, to? Yes. Wait, I could not believe my eyes because I'm just like. So, so I, you mean to tell me <laughs> I've been looking in freaking chat just to find a Japanese restaurant? We're not in no, a big CJ. city. CJ, We're it goes not, further back than there's that. There's a Japanese restaurant in Parramatta <laughs> and the one down the road from my house. If I wanted a Japanese, I don't have to go to freaking chat. <laughs> CJ, it goes back further than that. We listened to that whole story of a novel just so we could get to this Japanese restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This we is the best joke. This is the best joke Emma has ever told. I'm telling you now, it's this is the best joke. Wait, what this joke? Is the, you know how? You, look, I did not expect this ending, and you led us on this on this journey. I was fully invested in this, and then you lead us with this. Yeah, you got, us, you got us all hard. I'm telling Guys. you, now. discovered. Fuck all. <laughs> I was, Guys, I was wait, expecting, was your, you know, like, your brain you know, like, like those Google, you know, those Google map um, revelations where you'll see like two people like on a bench doing something they shouldn't be doing or yeah. what, like, I thought we were getting like a, a, an amazing Google maps find, yeah, yeah, yeah. like that's where I thought we were <laughs> you, you know what's even funnier? What? The restaurant is on the road. Well, it's an unmarked road. It's not even really a road. This is a, a, a small village, guys. You reckon they Uber Eats? <laughs> like, I mean, we I might get our food next week. If they would, if it's considered small, <laughs> but it looks fairly small. Let's just say, even if it's medium well, it's village. All right. So, can I just Do go a bit further? It's a, it's a, Since on. we're here, can I go a bit further? Go. So, um, this has got uh, this has got four reviews. Um, oh, the restaurant. That's what. That's where <laughs> I was going. Oh, were you? <laughs> yeah. Go on, go, go. <laughs> Two days ago, Edward Rennie <gasps> said, maybe, maybe be good food. He didn't even go there. He just said, maybe. Oh. Um, and then you got Milan, who said, food is good, maybe. <laughs> There's another guy. There's another guy. Anyways. Hey, don't call me maybe. <laughs> Baby. And then XGamer360 says, why are you gay? Oh, because it's called Stuxior is gay. Oh. But it's gay. It's G-A-E. Oh. It could be pronounced guy. I'm not sure. But yeah. This That's is... sexist. Why not be female? And then someone said, I don't like Kazanaki for their favorite song. You, you, know, you, you know what this proves? What? what? There's Japanese restaurants everywhere. everywhere. That was my point. We're in a small village in the uppermost northern part of Chad, and I didn't even expect to see a restaurant anyway, and the restaurant is a Japanese restaurant. It's, it's Kyoto-style <laughs> I... Japanese restaurant. It's even it's even named which area of Japan, <laughs> Japanese cuisine it's from. Can I um, uh. take this in yet another sideways direction? Go. Our reviewers, Mr. Edward Rennie, the most recent one. Yeah. yeah. I just noticed the... Because it was a weird review, maybe be good food so what 454 reviews i see like all yeah. this guy reviews i saw um, i saw 454 what else has he reviewed his so some some of his reviews for bobox schweiss is asked for bobox and received a jar of milk no <laughs> idea what bobox is but obviously he wasn't happy about that um <laughs> this one's pretty interesting yeah, it's, and it's place. obviously not milk <laughs> he's a local Ro- guide place. level seven 
do not ask a homeless man to play Survive the Random Disasters in real life. That's another <laughs> review is given. <laughs> this guy's got some pretty interesting reviews. Oh my goodness. I just, I thought that, I, I don't know. I was like, wow, okay. Great, right. great right, lasagna then. at the reception desk. They dunked their hand into the tray and threw it in my bowl. Never have I seen such great service. Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> so side note, um, the, the actual book is actually good and you'll learn a lot from it. It's and really um, good. it has no Japanese restaurants in it, so. <laughs> no, that's <clears> true. <throat> no Japanese restaurants. I really thought I, you were going to take it to that hole. Were... Or... What hole? When the top of chat. I want to see if they have a website. No, they don't. I tried. I the website. It. it says you can add one. If you did want to, going back to Salva's story, though, if you you can look at more about his or uh, his foundation. Uh, at waterforsouthsudan.org. Mm. That's a volcano. Why did I need water? I got a Japanese restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Did you know, I actually learned one of the ways that they can get water from this something. So when the ponds or whatever dries up, they have to relocate to different, like say like, maybe to like a bigger lake area that, where it's also dried up. But if they find a lake area with like clay... Clay holds a lot of the water underneath. Mm. Mm. So you have to dig, 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 like with your arm, just like a little hole as far as you can get and then wait for the water to start seeping up. Mm. You get your gourd or whatever, cloth or whatever, and then you just like try and you get like it. get it like, yeah. like so you seep it up in, into the sponge. It takes like they're there all day. Yeah. But that's a, that's that's one way that they're like, trying to Lucky, get it. Yeah. I know. And we will take a short break from our podcast so that Alex can give us some important information. What up, what up, what up, what up? We are back on the B-Side Word and we have an announcement for you. We would just like for you to give us a bit of attention. That's right. We want you to get onto Instagram, onto Twitter, onto Facebook and follow us at the B-Side Word. And if you're feeling really, really good, you can leave us a comment, even a like, maybe subscribe to the channel or even rate us, review us on your favorite podcast listening app anyway back to the episode dev and back to the podcast so um i just want to ask you guys um in your previous relationships or current relationships have you for the boys ever wanted to be called daddy and Emma, what? for you, have you ever wanted to call your partner daddy? No. Guys? No. CJ? No. So, so recently on Twitter, Dr. Phil has had to tell his followers to stop calling him daddy because it's weird. I saw that because <laughs> I think there's some viral thing going around saying, um, oh, saying something like, um, I want, I have, you have to stop or will you stop? Hashtag will you stop or something? And everyone says a different, like saying different things. And he said, right. will you stop calling me daddy? Oh, like, was that a thing? Yeah. Okay. So, like but that. that popped up into my head. Why, um, uh, why, like, have you ever ever known a mate that like his girlfriend calls calls him daddy in front of you? Literally only on the movies where like the <laughs> Not that kind of movie. The Latinas yeah. say Papi. Hey, hey, hey Papi. <laughs> hey Papi. <laughs> or like the only daddy in porn. Ones, they? Only in porn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's the movies I th I said as soon as you oh. said movies I said uh, they bring up those movies. Those type of movies. Um, no, no, never. It's it's no. um, I I uh, I'm. It's weird. It, 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 it would weird me out a little bit. Would it? So, so like, you, let's yeah, yeah. Go go. I'll, say, go. I'll tell you what though. I think I'm just thinking something that I've become very aware of. Uh, yeah. living in London, yeah, is the amount of sugar. 
daddies and mummies, mothers, <laughs> mum, mamas. I, I, is it mothers? Them? Don't say mothers. That sounds a bit weird. Sugar, sugar mama, sugar, sugar ma- mama. It's not very English, is it? Sugar Hi. Mama. Mama. Have you been yeah. offered to become a cub? Um, a cub? No. <laughs> but yeah, cu- a cougar's cub? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've met. I, I've I've actually been on a I've been on a date with a girl who showed me sugar daddies multiple trying to give her money yeah um what? and like the extent they go to and all this kind of stuff but it's I, i've known that there there's a lot of people i've talked to have had these interactions here like it's quite a quite a common thing what here. right so um, okay from the sugar daddy's perspective yeah if he's giving yes. a girl money mm. does that yes. he doesn't care does he care what else she does no, no. What do you mean by that? What do you can mean? she I see answer, other people? Answer too quickly. Can she see other people, or does now is does she have to sort of be exclusive to him? Um, All right, so I'm gonna give you a breakdown. You get, okay. you I get, like it. Oh I my like goodness! Because I was just gonna guess, and I was just gonna make my own narrative up. But yeah, go. Ahead. <laughs> so they'll do. It obviously depends on what the sh- what the sugar daddy wants to give up. But you can almost think of it like tears of sugar daddy and like levels of which they're gonna give up. <laughs> but membership, like, you will have. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, you get the platinum one. Um, so you'll get like um, rent paid for is is a big one. Um, yeah. I'll get your rent is paid for, and then I'll give you X amount per week, or it'll be like so your rent is paid for five, and then five hundred quid per week, and yeah. for that you have to uh, well, depending on again, depending so on what's, some of the times it's some of the times it's just like you have to come to dinner with me. Um, because oh, just for the company. What? Well, I don't know if it's just for the company. I think because we're in London and it's you know business e- economic superficial. I think it's more to do with what it looks like you have oh. as a partner rather than anything, or what it looks like you can get as a as a womanizer or as a manizer for a fe- I don't know what the female version is. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Um, so they they want something pretty next to them. So whoever they're speaking with or engaging with at the dinner has a better opinion of them um right. so yeah they'll get they'll get that they'll get that rent they'll get that whatever weekly thing and then their commitment will just depend on what that the reason that person's sugaring them but there there's no exclusivity to it for the most part mm. because typically the daddy or the mummy will have multiple babies cubs whatever as well right um, Do you have to be? I wonder if they have to be available for whenever they're needed. What a beeper or something? That's You're right, on I'm call. coming. I'm coming in for business on Friday. Okay, okay hold on. Are you a doctor? A beeper. A beeper. <laughs> <laughs> you went a beeper. <laughs> okay, what are so we in the eighties? What else can we money? carry around of us at all times? Uh, pager. If <laughs> if someone. If someone was offering me the money to go on the dinners with them and there was some level of uh, like choice on my part, like from availability standpoint and stuff, 100% I'd do it. Mm. I, I, hey, I hey, recently watched w- a would doctor. You put a bit of, would you put a bit of sugar in the mummy? Do you know why though? It's, all it is to me... Is that's just you're providing a service for someone who needs it, but there's no, there's no, I don't have to give anything up other than my time and that and my attention for a couple of hours. Like there's no, you know what the service I'm is called? Sacrificing anything Escort. about me. Oh, yeah, that's no, what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about that. So there, I recently watched an escort, right, a mature escort, and the reporter said, "Oh, do you do it for the?" the sex right like anyways and um or the money whatever and uh the lady said you know what it's funny you say that my clientele that i choose to provide a service for isn't about the wham bam thank you ma'am they're more about the intimacy they're more about having the companion because they're the, the older gentlemen like let's say they recently lost their wife they they want that um they want that um that closeness but but first they just don't want that they want them to go to dinner they want to know like they want the experience of being in a relationship but isn't, without having the isn't the movie there's a movie called the girlfriend experience yeah but this oh. is a mature mature lady she's like she's not after a young buck to like 
Um, she doesn't care if the young buck has like uh, the money to pay for her service. She's not up for just like wham bam, thank you, man. She's like, you know what? I wanna, I wanna give. I've got more to give than just my body. Like I wanna have conversations with these people. I wanna like know about these people. Sometimes, sometimes they don't even end up. Uh, she doesn't even end up having sex with them. They just lay down together because it's it's enough for that person. So it's like, yeah, like Alex, it's just different services, right? Like, it's interesting. Interesting. It's interesting. Hmm. But anyway, so CJ, w- was it weird when um, when you like when uh, Marvin Gaye was on playing in the background, and um, you were getting all hot and steamy, and um, wonder. And then uh, she looked, she looked up at you, and she said, <laughs> "Hey, Daddy." <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Emma, <laughs> even I was thinking, what what story is he talking about? It's not me. Do I oh, correct him? I, I knew I where Dev was go going. Of this? I knew where Dev was going. But did like, Emma, did you say wonder when he said steamy because you thought he said Stevie? <laughs> no, I said wonder. I named the lady wonder. Oh, wonder. A like fish called oh, wonder. It's because he said hot and steamy, and then you said wonder. I was like, he didn't say Stevie. He said Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> you got some Marvin Gaye. You're all hot and Stevie wonder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so daddy's, I reckon that would creep the hell out of me if someone called me daddy. Yeah, I'm not it's into like, that. Hey, it's like, hey, daddy. weird. What? Not into that. Man. I think the person's narcissistic that would demand that because oh. you see some people demand that other Hold on. Really? person call them. Ernie, yeah. d- d- Ernie, don't you have three little people that call you daddy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not weird Isn't though. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that would be too... weird if they called him Ernest. <laughs> <laughs> is it too blanket statement to say that people who say like to say daddy probably have some daddy issues? Yeah. No, like, is that too blanket? Or do you reckon there's actually a legitimacy to that? I, I'm not going to lie. If a young lady started calling me daddy, yeah. I'm thinking that straight away. Like, she's got some issues. Yeah, all some right. But how? Issues. But <laughs> on, the, on the hotness radar, how does she's like a 100 out of 100? Does the daddy. Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking around. <laughs> <laughs> Point it doesn't... taken. <laughs> it's just, it's just too, it's too weird for me. No, like, I think it's too weird for me. It, it would it would completely like, throw me off. Yeah. Absolutely. I'd be, huh? <laughs> what? Like, oh, like, can, we, crazy. can we just talk about this for a second? <laughs> it, 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 if one outweighs the other, <laughs> one hotness and crazy, right? Yeah, hotness and crazy. If she's seriously, seriously hot and she's a little crazy, I will stick around. Yeah. If she's okay, but she's seriously, seriously crazy, I'm out of there. Yeah, yeah. Now, if it's on par, it's a hard decision. Yeah, flip a coin. <laughs> flip a coin. Yeah, because if she's seriously, seriously hot and seriously crazy, well, I might wake up one night stabbed, but some great sex. If the scenario <laughs> came, if the scenario came and the lady, the lady I was with started calling me, started saying daddy, I'd put my pants up straight away and go, wait, wait, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Let's, be, let's be honest, right? We're, we're all getting a bit older. Mm. So the girls are hooking up with, if she says daddy, he's not going to catch us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, By the time he gets that, like the walkie, the walking thing to catch up to walking us. Walking stick, yeah. What are you Zimmer doing frame. with my young the, girl? The Zimmer frame. <laughs> the frame. Yeah. All right. But the time he gets his Zimmer frame near us, I'm dressed and walked past him. <laughs> <laughs> Next. I was watching a podcast this week and uh, this question, it wasn't actually a question. They were talking about other stuff. And, uh, (laughs) but when they were talking about space, they were talking about space and they were talking about um, Elon Musk and how the car went out into space, right? This, this question popped into my head, which was what three things would you send out to space for the first impression of aliens? And you can choose whatever you want, music, art, uh, literature, whatever you want. What is the three pieces of items would you send out to give the your first impression of humans? Would you try I to... Have it. Yeah, go on. Go, CJ. 
would send Elon Musk. <laughs> so they can talk to one of their own. Yeah. <laughs> I would send I'll send out Donald Trump. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good representation, yeah. <laughs> so so they think we're absolutely insane and not to mess with us. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> I've got a third. I only had two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, um, so I've got I've got at least one. Yeah. But the other two would tie along with this theme, I think. Um, so I'd send like a a photo album. It has to be physical because if I could give them a thumb drive, they're not going to know what to do with that, right? <laughs> so. <laughs> send them a, a physical photo album and you in might think it's a suppository <laughs> in in the photo album would be pictures of um always pictures Elon of Musk and if, Trump <laughs> not quite <laughs> all all pictures of me in a good light um where like it looks like I'm achieving things or people are like celebrating <laughs> me or something <laughs> wait that is so vain I thought you were going to say <laughs> no like, it's so pictures that, of it's so that Historical. when the aliens get it, they think that I'm like the god of Earth. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, this guy must. Everyone's always you celebrating. You? <laughs> Why would you want to do that to yourself? Then you're putting They'll your target like, on the planet. Let's, let's be serious. Yeah. Let's alien, take out the king. If it's getting, to, if it's going to an alien, that means yeah. that the, the chances are it's not going to reach them during my lifetime. So they, it's not like they're going to come and kill me anyway. So at yeah. least I can give them some revisionist history and just make yeah. me look legendary in the process. <laughs> so then it would be some form of relics to go along that support that story that I'm this highly, highly worshipped person. <laughs> I have no idea. What's like I, under I still think my idea is the better one. <gasps> Like, what is something that all humans Spam. just like, yep, yeah, that's us. Also, oh, you would, you'd go down that path? Yeah. You'd try to encapsulate everything. Everyone. That's what that I was is... thinking. Why? Okay. Well, that's yeah. what I was In thinking. that case, send them a, send them a nuclear bomb. <gasps> no. <laughs> go on. That is us. Emma, I'm intrigued. We destroy ourselves Why? regularly. Um, We're constantly killing each other. But what is something that is literally every human can, be oh yeah, that's us. Audience, say it with me. That's us. Legendary. It's gonna be legendary. <laughs> I just had to put that in. There. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so you're saying something that would encapsulate the whole human race? Yeah. But okay, wait. But mm. why do you want to give that? Oh, why, why is that what you want to represent? I thought mm. that's what the question was. No, that's you how can, I interpret. No, you it. can make your own narrative with these three items. Oh. Hmm. Slightly less. Un I don't know. I have to think about this really hard. <laughs> okay, I don't Emma's think it was like, that deep wait, of a question. Wait, you you want me to be selfish? No, no, no. <laughs> selfless. That's the only way I know. <laughs> hmm. Go on, Dev. What about you? What would you say? Uh, I I was thinking of a piece of art and then a piece of writing that would replace the Bible. Um, a piece of art that would <laughs> a piece of writing that would replace the but what yeah what, like the encyclopedia like, or something like, like you said like you know you said you had the <laughs> whoa so so like um Harry Potter or something just like rip the <laughs> so they think we're wizards <laughs> no so all you need to know on the thing it'd say all you need to know whatever right about Earth and it'd be the Harry Is Potter that we can write great stories yeah so you you want oh are you're trying to send them a novel that. That yeah. they would interpret as a novel. I thought you meant yeah. like you were trying to make them think Harry Potter was what we lived in. <laughs> like, well, they would. They, didn't, they would interpret that that way, right? Like, you put it, it is out that what there. You'd want? Yeah. <laughs> so when they get here, they go, "Where's Dumbledore? Where's Dumbledore? <laughs> what is going on? Where's Dumbledore? What's happening here? What's going on?" And then the. Well, so, our so music you're not sending them the. You're not sending them the, the last book then. You're sending him an earlier version. Yeah, the earlier versions, and then I'd send Tupac, <laughs> Tupac's album, like on, and just rotating. I see no changes, just rotating. So <laughs> it's just like, it's just this, this like you know what I mean? It's just, and then Picasso, like something that's made by Picasso, and they they see this and they go, these guys are effed up. I'm not going, I'm not going. 
These <laughs> guys, they know what they're doing. They don't complete shit. The stories are weird. They've got dragons. And then there's this guy, they've Tupac. They've dragons. Uh, they've, and they're doing these raps, whatever they call these kind of things. <laughs> I want to spin them out. Actually, Ganja. I'd send Ganja to them as well. Something I'm like, sure their, other, uh, their planets have way worse stuff. Yeah, but they're thinkers, right? But if you send um, something to alter their thinking, they're like, oh, shit. Or LSD. What's going on? Something... Yeah, but remember we um, watched that. Um, Hello. We... Oh, who's this? Who's that? No, no. I was looking for articles and I found the dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Scrap that. I'd send CJ. <laughs> <laughs> I'd send CJ. I'd send... <laughs> I would definitely send CJ. Oh. <laughs> See, CJ's not been entertained by our articles this week, no, has he? No, no, he hasn't. <laughs> like, at <He's>... all. <laughs> <laughs> I was like talking to the dog like it was a family member. Hello. <laughs> Hi. All right. Oh, I still couldn't give you my answer and I'll be thinking about it. I was going to say, did days. you come up with anything, Emma? No. Uh, I think some form of music... Man, because you're the question that you're trying to answer is very, very hard. You're trying to encapsulate yeah. the world. Like I already made up. My one was easy because I'm like, I want to f these aliens up. I want them when they see this, they go, "What the hell has this got to do with Earth?" No, I was I trying think, to be I like, "Emma, I think the, I, I said it out of jest, but I think the encyclopedia probably would be one of the things you'd send." <laughs> <laughs> Explain slang. Here's oh. everything we know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the Britannica set. Yeah. Um, In car yeah, to 95. Finally question. get those bloody books of the planet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Emma, forget it. Okay. The podcast is only 45 minutes. Yeah, this is true. Okay, so there's AI out there that can predict... What? Sorry. <laughs> that can predict if you'll die soon. Let me elaborate. And listen. So there, there's this artificial intelligence <laughs> that is able to look at the results of a heart test, so ECG, and determine how long that person has to live or if, if there's issues, basically, even when that ECG looks completely normal to the doctor. Hmm. So... They don't know how on earth it's doing it, but it's correctly um, basically identified. It's correctly predicted these risks of death, even in people that are deemed normal, whatever. Um, and they, they've been following its, its, its progress, I guess. And they're like, I don't know what it's looking at. To us, that looks absolutely normal. I guess they might have sent the person away. No, normally CG, whatever. And this AI is, is picking up stuff that they can't even see. Mm. That's wild. It is wild. And also... Is it, is it Oscar wild? <laughs> it's Oscar. Let's just call it Oscar. That's Oscar. Is it Girls Gone? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so they're saying, like, AI can potentially teach us things that we've been misinterpreting for, for decades. Yeah. Um, and only that can do it. They can't pick up the patterns that it sees. They, they have mm. no idea. So this might become commonplace. AI is becoming commonplace, more so commonplace in med medicine anyway, like yeah, we've, yeah. we've said before. But it's just interesting to me. This is just a quick little two-minute thing yeah. that this is pos like this is happening. You know what's funny? That um that word patterns is funny because like recently I've been trying to, uh, trying to find the patterns that are uh, in the way that I live my life. And it's like, it's, I, I, I try to recall the last seven days or five days and look at what stuff that I keep doing over and over again. Mm -hmm. And there's a, there's a lot that I keep doing all over and over again. And I go through the same frustrations over and over again, which makes me an idiot because I didn't learn the first, the first hundred times. And then I go, so you like in my head, I go, so you're telling me if I change this little way that my day will be better, <laughs> right? Because it's you do the same thing over and over again until like until it becomes a pattern. Give us an example. So like, I talk to a certain, uh, I talk to someone, and I'd have the same frustrating conversations daily, right? And I go, 
I'm not calling you anymore. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> but like, I would have this, I'd have this daily conversation of frustration, right? And then I go, don't talk to him. Like, uh, one day I said, don't talk to him. My day was great. <gasps> Make it. Okay. <laughs> my day was fantastic. I had this fantastic day. I had no. Like, Is that why he didn't answer my phone yes, call, you scumbag? Yes. That's why. <laughs> no, you've got to do this like a like a kind of Groundhog Day thing experiment. And every we day. Live, we live a Groundhog Day, yeah, even listen, if we listen, don't listen. want to. No, every day you, you you do a new approach. I can This this could be turned into a film. Mm. It is a film, Groundhog it, Day. Yeah. No, Groundhog. <laughs> on how to how to I was gonna say, on how to I was say that. <laughs> on how to who, who interact with this one annoying person. Who are you, person Ca- that Carlos Mencia? So like one day you could like you could like walk waltz up into the place the where the annoying yeah. person might be, and then like with hot dog in hand, we're like, "Hey, Jackaroonie!" Like that's not his name. I'm just saying like Jackaroonie. And then <laughs> like Jack-a-rooney. and then every day you try something different. So like one day you're coming with a little bit of a rap. Yeah. Like other days you might do a like pitter patter pitter patter all over like his. Yeah, rap. but that, <laughs> I don't know. But that does that. Oh, have I feel you like ever watched Great Day? insight. Yeah. I'll say I feel like I'm getting a great insight into the mind of Emma. Like you give Emma <laughs> the freedom to greet anyone. In any way she wants, and hers is <laughs> with a hot dog. Hey there, Jackaroonie. <laughs> and some pitter patter. And some pitter patter. Pitter patter. Pitter patter. Pitter patter. What the hell's a pitter patter? When, pitter when, pitter? Emma's, when Emma's walking down the street and um. she has like these interactions with, with strangers or, or acquaintances, and she's giving the old, hey, mm. like in deep in your head, is there some <laughs> little gremlin buried going, nah, do this, do that? <laughs> <laughs> Greet them this way. <laughs> hey, Jacqueline Rooney. <laughs> uh, Dad, I'm go on, add Rooney on the end of it. You can I do it. I believe in you. Most podcasts, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really interesting. There's a lot of uh, AI. I think if you if you learn, if you just observe AI and you notice what they're doing and how they're successful and you try to implement it in your life, the the application and their principles, I wonder if you could, you ch- like you could vastly improve the way you lived your life. I don't know. You could. But- you could, and let me tell you how. Okay. Because you just made me think of something. So AI, the principle upon AI in which it can find patterns that we can't, one, it can obviously process data quicker than we can. Yeah. But the biggest thing is it looks at data alone. There is yeah. zero context to its data. It looks yeah. purely at the information and then makes its predictions based off of that. Yeah. So for us, if we wanted to emulate that more so, it would just be always remove your uh, preconceived ideas when receiving information. Which is you'd be able to almost make. impossible. Well, like this is uh, very s- much s- impossible. But the semantics, you can the semantics of um, like for for the last week, I've been trying to get rid of the semantics in my life. The the useless uh, what do you, what what's semantics? Let me, let me look yeah. at the definition. Like meaning, the, like the, yeah, the semantics, are like the meaning like the, of stuff, like the yeah, yeah, like all that the, kind of stuff. And I've been the, trying the to just and... yeah, the fi- yeah, I've been trying to just see things for the way that they are. Mm. It's been slightly. Slightly challenging because you always fall back into those patterns of like you get emotionally involved, you get um your like you said all the context from previous experiences prior come knowledge. in and prior knowledge, all that kind of always like it floods your like your the way that you think to do a job and you're like because <sighs> do you know imagine this is hard. like with that I think the biggest thing we do isn't necessarily that we don't see things or we don't uh we can't like conclude different things from information we have but rather that we dismiss possibilities really easily Mm. because of our previous context so like yeah Yeah, you may have the right ideas of things but you just immediately go well this can't be that can't be that can't be that can't be that and we probably dismiss a bunch of actually good Ide- ideas, ideologies, perspectives in that process, yeah. but it happens yeah. so quickly that we don't even realise. <sighs> Agreed. And also, I feel like next time I get an ECG, I'm going to be like, where's the AI? <laughs> I don't trust your word. <laughs> where's Ellen Iverson? Well, <laughs> did you see about the where's Apple Watch? Where's the answer? Did you see about the Apple Watch? The no, new I've never had it. 
that, well, they're believing that the new one, because you know they've put the ECG EKG mm. on the Apple yes. Watch on the last Actually, one. I no, I didn't know that. that. I've heard that. Yeah. So on the last one they released, they put the EKG on, so it can do your heart rate monitoring and stuff. It's it's becoming much more of a health uh, appliance. It's actually, I say to say to people, if you want a Fitbit, you should get an Apple Watch because it's actually better at doing what Fitbit does. Um, uh-huh. But the new one is believed. Their announcement's coming out this month, but they believe it's going to have um, the ability to measure oxygen levels in your blood. That's what. Yeah, this, <laughs> what? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. How was it going to do that? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Give us an example. How much is an Apple Watch anyway? <laughs> one million dollars. I think it's the new one is. I think it's like two, uh, two, three hundred. Is that it? Well, that's pounds. So I, don't I thought know. you were going to say thousand. Oh, man, like the whole eco Apple ecosystem. I love the Apple ecosystem, but I hate being part of it or dependent on it because it's so expensive. It is so so damn you, expensive. Uh, I found my new reason to stay with an Apple ecosystem um, prior to has ju- has just been that I'm stuck in it. Like I, all my yeah. devices are Apple, mm. so and that wasn't even by like design; it just happened that way. Um, yeah. But the more sure. the more I've realised, the more I realise that the there's actually a, a really good reason to stick with Apple is for a security standpoint. Because yeah. they continually do things to prove that they actually want to keep your data secure. Yeah. Um, whereas you don't get that from Android. Yeah. Android's see, a lot I, easier to I hack think, into. See, I'm at, a, I'm at this um, tipping point whether to go back to Apple, an Apple um, phone. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah What's I, made you, you think that? You use a Mac. I don't get why you wouldn't. That alone is enough reason for me. If I have because the integration wasn't there at the beginning. Uh, that, that wasn't okay, there. Yeah, that's fair. And then I'd already moved to Samsung and I've already had like three generations with Samsung. So it, it's terrible, but the, one of them blew up and he charged. What, oh my gosh, what, only one. No, there was Wait, plenty. What? It happened plenty oh, of times. Only one. Only one? Yeah. Apple's had none blow up as they charge. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant one of devs blew up. Like no, 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 no. No. And that's what I was like when you said only one. I was like, one of three. That's a lot. <laughs> Wait, you can track your menstrual cycle with the Apple Watch. Uh, I don't. I don't have any, so I wouldn't yes, have to uh, track it. Yes, Ernest. <laughs> Ernie, you can you can track your menstrual cycle with the Apple Watch. Oh, oh here it comes. <laughs> I actually want this watch you, now, but I think when it's you're about. Trading, we can all know. Maybe we should get it together. One thousand four hundred here. Well, no, maybe you should well, get sink, it. <laughs> what? One thousand four hundred. Sync up cycles. I think so. Yeah, you get it on a plan, but you wouldn't get it um outright. Uh, like you oh, just okay. get it on a um the, the when you get the phone. Oh, yeah, you get it when you get the phone. Yeah. Oh, you get a watch at the same time. Yeah, you just put it on top. So you get a cheaper plan. I will plan be getting then... one for sure. Are you getting one for sure? A oh, hundred. I've wanted one for a while now. Yeah. Um. It. Well, I say that the when they brought the EK, EKG as part of it, that was like the tipping point of okay, yeah. Like I like the direction they're going with it. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm. A, I'm not gonna get one for a while. <laughs> I, I don't need a. I. I. I don't. I don't need a watch to tell me how unfit I am. What? I know. Where is? <laughs> and that is another week of the B side word, done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed. That's it for now, fam. Yeah. Bye. See ya. Peace. Bye.